Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another character creation tutorial. Sorry it's taken so long, but it's working. So what we're going to do this time is continue with our armor. So last time we made it partially work, it had a bug in it, which I will try to show you now. You could go next, and it spawned, but then when you went back it crashed. So let's fix it. So what I did is you remove this and put it at the top like we did, then we took out, then we did again, then we took it out. You put it at the top so it comes down and spawns it, correct? Yes. And then what you need to do is on here where it says head armor is you put equals. So if it is less than or equal to the length of it, so the length is 5, if it's less than 5, but it can also equal 5 because less than 5 is it just works like that then it'll increase whereas if it equals five then it won't increase so it can never go to three so it starts at zero you click it once it goes to one click it again it goes to two one two can't go anymore okay you can it's still not working so we'll go length minus one we'll try that see if that works any better because i tried it it didn't i didn't really try that part but i tried the rest so, ah, I clicked next too many times. I, I had something stuck in my throat, sorry. So, next, 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 next. Great, we can't go anymore, that's perfect. So we've got previous, previous, can we go again? No, perfect. So there we are, character creation. So now we can fine tune it and see how close this is to his head. Mm, yeah, that's pretty all right, actually. Click next. I think we can move that down a little bit. So if we stick the f female on, make it zero zero, and then put it here, I think what we can do is grab both of them off the head. This is for the female, so I'll delete that one. So head head, what we can do is move it both down a little bit, just a little bit. And then we can reassign all this back into the correct place, female, male, and now it should fit absolutely perfect on his head. There we go, absolutely perfect. Let's go back, back, female. Watch this like. Perfect, eh? So now we can move on from our head armor and do capes. And the thing is, it's already all there. So we're gonna go into the mail, we'll select head. In fact, we'll find body. Probably the best place to put it. Body spawn, and we'll type player cape spawn there. And now what we can do is move this to the back of him, put it where it should be. Let's see. Yeah, that's in the middle. Yeah, no, we, we can experiment with it later. So there's the cape, and of course we need to do it for the female. Whatever we do for the male, we do for the female. But we'll do it at the end. So once we've 100% sure. So what I can do is down here is copy it again, cape, and we'll do two. And can we increase the size up here? Er, three. We're already on three apparently. Yep. So when we go back to our main camera, make sure you change spawn places to three so we can fit it on. Boom. And now when we go back to this, now we can begin spawning the capes. So head armor, end of head armor, all this. So we copy it all, paste it all. So the last one is 160 down. So if we grab this 160 down, so add a bit more to it, we'll say 190 maybe. Cape. And end capes. So this is just so we can split it up. Capes, so right here. Um, next cape, previous cape, select your cape, and then we need to basically rearrange everything that says armor to the correct one, like so. In fact, armor stages will be two, because what thing is body. Boom, 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 boom. So everywhere it says armor stages bracket, change it to two. Only on this cape section though. And then back up to the top, we need to make it equal 3, so we've got one for cape. So you're basically adding the cape to it, it's that simple. So we don't need current head, we need current cape. So can it find cape? No. Destroy cape, rename it to cape. Can it find cape? No. Dis destroy cape, call it cape. Boom. 
Then armor stage two, head armor. We don't need that anymore. We need capes. What did we call it? Let's have a look. Back armor. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's more body armor, isn't it? Anyway, capes. I'll call it cape armor just to match with it, but it's not actually cape armor. So we can come down capes. So everywhere it says, er, where is it? Head armor. So there and there. Change to cape armor. So spawn cape next. And spawn cape next. Cape pre. And cape pre. So let's see if we've got it. So come down. If the button is the cape. Armor stage is 2, which is the cape. Cape armor's length. Increase cape armor. Blah, blah, blah. That looks alright. So now, if we've done it alright, it should spawn all the capes. When we make the array of capes. We've forgot the capes armor. Right there. So we've got it. Uh, capes armor. We've done an error. 154. It's cape armor, not capes. So everywhere we've put capes. Uh, just one place, that's good. So we can get rid of it there. Cape armor. And then what we can do is assign all the array when it comes on. Because we need the array, like. And then we will find back armor, which is head body armor, I don't know. It's confusing. But basically we can just go like this. Click and click. And then final thing is change the armor stages to three. And then... With all that clicking and stuff, we should have capes built into our game now. Next, next. Oh, we have, we forgot to move it all down. Oh, no. So, we were so close, but yeah. So, 190, let's move it down from 190. So, let's work, it, work the math out. 100, 120, so it's 20 down. Then the next one is 40 down. So, 20 down from this is 210. Then 40 down is 250. But let's move it down a little bit more. It was a bit close. Add 10, add 10. I've mixed them up. So body should be number two, capes should be number. There we go. Body is number one, capes is number two. I am the biggest doofus ever. Because we tried to rush it, well, I tried to rush it, I messed up. Spawn places two, people. Spawn places two. There's a big thing right there. Next, next next there we go so now it's spawning in the right place so we move it up so close move it up a little bit more but this time we'll move it across a little bit perfect perfect positioning but the only thing is when we you know put it back it gets rid of it so we're gonna go there there and there. Then when we go back, it re puts it all, come back in, take it all, put it back in. And now, how weird is that? Next, let's add a helmet. There we go. In fact, I want a cape. And then next. And then what we can go on to is changing colours and stuff, but we'll not do that yet. So that's all working. We will need to do it for the female, but there is one fix I want to do first. Not fix, change. At the moment, the buttons will stay there whether you can press them or not. I don't like that. So what we're going to do is get this armor stages and put here. If armor stages is less than two, there we go. If armor stages is less than, two, so basically put the check before. So if the check's available, not there. So if it doesn't pass, it doesn't show the button. Whereas if it does pass, it will show the button. So basically, what we've done is made it made a hidden button, like so. So if I just show you the difference between that and the normal one, and then I can quickly apply it and then show you again. Next, next. So you can see if I click previous, there's no previous. We can't go previous on head, but there's no previous. Click next, we can go previous. And that's what we want. So like that. So we can only press it. So it helps the user if you wish. Don't forget your user is your main target. If you're creating a game, chances are you're not creating it to play all by yourself. You want other people to play. If they don't like it, they're not going to play it. So it helps the user. Nobody ever com comments on it, but you know it's there. They'd like it. If you took it away, they'd be like, what the hell, that makes no sense. 
we could technically do it for this as well. So, well, we'll get, get this char size, put it here, and move the button in, and that too, and down. So it checks the char size, then makes it taller, or shows the button to make it taller. So, it will make it look a lot better, I think. You don't have to do this, but all I'm doing is reversing the button and the if statement inside. So this one doesn't have one because you choose male or female. You could put an if statement in saying if it's already spawned as male, but I'm not going to. So that's all done as the init if is inside and if is inside. There we go. So now it should hide the buttons once you've got the limit or the pre minimum. So let's see if it works. So male, female, that works fine. Squash, Next, way. taller. Oh no, we can't go any taller, so we'll go shorter. Oh no, we can't go any shorter. Let's put normal size next. Right, we can't go previous on any of them. So let's go next head and next head. Ooh, the bodies have moved. So that's obviously we've not put our prefab back, but that's not bad. We can fix it. Right, on the hand area, that's fine. Right, so copy gender male, stick it in your male prefab. Take female out, put it inside there. Zero, 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 so it's in the right place. Uh, maybe move it up so it's in the right place. I think the female's smaller than the male, I'm not sure. It looks like it. So, now what we're going to do is literally find the head and delete it in the female. In the male, we're going to duplicate it and put it in the female. Please don't come up with weird things for that. I know, I just got that too. But anyway, close the heads and open up the bodies. Yes, yes, this is going to sound so wrong, I know. I can all hear you laughing right now. But yeah, so play a body spawn. So we're going to copy these two and drag it up. Put it inside spine two and delete it. So now everything what is correct is assigned in the correct place. So now we should be able to spawn male or female and put everything in the right place and it should work. So female, really tall. Let's add the head, there we go. So obviously we need to increase the thing sizes as well. But we can do that later. No, we can't, we'll do it right now. There we go, look at that. So, like here, we've changed, where is it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. The player's size here. We've changed the player's local size to whatever char size is. So, let's change the object sizes to whatever size the char size is so it fits none. That makes sense, doesn't it? I hope. So, we'll copy this spawn gender transform local scale plus equals that, just for now. And we'll come down to where we start spawning armor, right here. So, current head, after it spawns the head and renames it, we're going to type spawn head next dot transform dot local scale. And we're going to put char size. Char size, char size, for everything. So now it should, in theory, make it the right size. And we can just keep doing this. Don't forget, once you've mastered this, you can just like copy paste it, it'll work fine. Boom, there we go. So capes and head done. Now they should resize to whatever size your character is. So if you've got a little dwarf, you will have a little dwarf helmet. It will be so adorable. Male, female. Let's Spon have a small male. Like. In fact, let's have a tall male if that works. There you go, look at that. Fits him absolutely perfectly. You couldn't even tell he was resized except on that. It looks like it's choking him. My amazing cape for you people. Next, let's make it really short. Ah, there's one issue. You see, we glitched it already, but we can fix that. I don't know how, but we will attempt to fix it. Next. He has a huge head. He has a really big head. And I found our error right there. Plus equals vector 3. We don't want it to plus equal it, we want it to equal it. Do we? Yes, we do. So get rid of the plus on all of the plus vector 3s. For your ch for, only for your armor. Only for the armor. And then that should, hopefully, only make it that size. So if it starts at 1, it will be 1. But if we go back and do it, and increase, then go back and click it again, 
it should equal it. So if we go next, so apparently the head doesn't like being size zero one. This has got cool horns. The cape's the right size, but the head's not. So I'm guessing the head started off at two, which it did. So there's a slight glitch we have to fix. So it's really easy to fix. So what we're going to do is um, go into our resources and find head, horn helmet. As you can see, it does start off in, indeed as two. So what we can do is actually duplicate it and delete everything inside of it. Like so. Call this shape. And then we can turn this horned helmet to 111. Like so. And then assign the horned the shape inside the horned helmet and assign it back. Now it will be size one. Yeah. So you can see. Ah uh, really should hide that next, but if there's no one next. So next head. Critics head. Drag star headband out, and then do the exact same thing. Duplicate it, rename one of them to shape. Can be any word you want, shape's easier. Delete everything inside, make the star headband equal to one on the local scale, and then put shape back in it, then put it all back in. So let's make sure they're all like that. Blank head can be changed to one. It's probably best if you do put it to one. Because then, if everything's the same, you can't really get an error from something that's the same. So, 1-1. One, one. Right. Now, you should be able to go back forth. It should work. But the only glitch we do have at the moment... So, there we go. Next cape. Is if we keep everything on. Make it really tall and go back. That works. That's fine. But if we go back now, it does that. Which is the glitch. But it's fixable. There are ways to do it, I'm going to think which is the best way, we'll do it next time. But you can see, all you do is click, click it and just reassign it. So, it's working. So, thank you for watching, I hope you like it. All these videos, I hope you like the blast of videos, I hope it makes up for long content of not having any videos. So, please comment below if, when I don't do just videos for a while, you prefer a big bash of them all at once or would you prefer me to keep them and upload them weekly so I always always have a video it's up to you YouTube decide thank you for watching see you next time